All right, so what am I doing this time? Even though I don't think I've had any problems with this uh, stock front strut, and uh, I feel like it's pretty convenient since you could just unbolt it, just the bar without messing with the, the plate itself and work on the engine. Uh, there's been a lot of people who have broken their stock strut bar, mainly from this fracture right here, it shearing off or whatever it may be. It hasn't happened to me yet, but uh, I just happen to have some steel laying around, so I figure it's a good time to maybe try to build my own. See if maybe anyone else would want one too while I'm at it, R&Ding on my own car. So we have 12 degrees on this angle finder, and I line it up, you can see right there, it's a little over 12 degrees, but that should be good enough, since I'm fairly new to using two benders. Oh yeah, so the other reason I'm doing this is threads are too short, plate is too thick, nylock isn't really doing much of anything. So using my uh, state-of-the-art digital angle finder along with this angle finder, I made my first bend need to make another bend still that looks a bit more like this and uh, hopefully I get the spacing right on this one Cleaning up this bar, I marked or eyeballed where the center of the bend was, and I marked equal distance from the center to each end. So I'm gonna chop it off, make it easy, even, and make sure there's a flush way to mount this. <laughs> I drew a grid, I drew a line for the angle I want to cut on the flat piece and I tried my best to trace it over. And so I guess we'll find out how well this works. And there we have it. Not 
bad for a ghetto markup on a table with a death wheel to cut it down to size. Alright, so the next thing I need to make fit is this uh, second bar, but I don't really have a good place to mount it, so I was I made these little plates, little bent, cut a piece of plate out and I bent it on my uh, sheet metal bender a little bit to try to give a little curve and uh, hoping to you know put it somewhere there like that so the end of that tube will be made it to this end cap maybe so we'll see I'm gonna um, tack these things in place and then uh, go from there but the plate is a little small but you know screw it just fill it with a, some filler rod made sure I can still get to that nut same on this side so this thing's all tacked together I think I guess maybe I should make a tiny bar that goes from here to here so yeah let's try to work on that next Alright, I got my two uh, support pieces cut out, made a random guess on how much I needed to angle this piece because you can see one is flat, one is a little angled, and this side turn out not half bad. Then on the other side, even though they're the same length, This guy has a massive gap down here. Wonder why. Turns out these two bars are not parallel. They're off by like a eighth of an inch. But yeah, oh well. Just uh, fill it. It's all good.
aren't done. It's fully welded. Probably not the best, given that uh, TIG is not my specialty, but I'm learning quick, I feel like. Always got to remember to clean the metal, because uh, that's definitely something I didn't do. So, I'm going to let this cool off, test fit it, and then uh, hopefully I can paint it and call it done. Alright, and we have it all painted and reinstalled. Add my little logo of some sort right there. Seems to bolt on just fine. And it'll even close. Alright, so that wraps it up for this episode, or whatever, and tune in next time. Not sure what I'm going to make, but uh, I kind of want to make a bedside step for the truck, one of those retractable ones that uh, pop out on the corner of the tailgate, so maybe I'll try that next.